Hello and welcome back to our channel. This is Lisa Monison with Olive Branch Home Studios. Thanks for joining us today for another transformation. We got this groovy 70s or early 80s buffet uh, given to us to be able to transform. This piece was very clean other than needing dust bunnies cleaned out of it and it was missing a back to it. It needed the top desperately refinished and the lines though of this piece were so beautiful i couldn't wait to get my hands on it as you can see i started sanding and then realized i needed to strip it uh, it was very hard to get in those grooves so i put citrus strip and i began to strip off the edges area and used my wire brush to really get in the grooves it was very difficult and then of course i went back over and sanded after here's some of the progress then we went ahead and did our deglosser to get all that shine off. It was dirty, like I said, but other than that, the piece structurally in great shape. Even my granddaughter came in with gloves on and said, Mimi, can I help you? I said, sure. So she was really excited to help. And this just shows us going through the inside, outside. Drawers are out, ready to be prepped for their first coat of paint. They were in really great shape though, other than just some dust. Here's coat one of the beautiful Stonehenge grays from Heirloom Traditions Paint. We started and I just decided to paint right over hinges and everything since they weren't completely movable to where it would come off. The top I decided to experiment. It had a water ring and some dark staining that I just could not get out with citrus strip. So I had read that you could put peroxide on it and it could lighten those things up and it actually worked. Did a couple layers of that and then we proceeded on and here is the final look unfortunately my camera did not capture me continuing to paint i thought it was filming and it wasn't but there's a beautiful bird transfer i went ahead and did the pickle wood uh, whitewash with putty from heirloom traditions paint and did that all around the edges and wiped and kept applying and wiping until i got the color i wanted the center had too much tannin for me to continue no matter what I did, so I decided to make it look like a fabric runner in the center. On the sides, I did some stenciling, also with the color putty, just to give a little extra accent there. I did that on both sides, and I just love all the curves this piece has. The inside three drawers have ample storage and space. The top one has the, I guess for silverware for the buffet, if you're going to use it for a buffet, has the Hernadon fine furniture and then the top piece has that fabric uh, wood piece in there. The rest of the drawers have been buttered with citrus oil to make it smell really good and to be conditioned. They open very smoothly and are just nice big storage with magnetic closure doors original hardware that I decided to just paint with a little bit of that putty to make it stand out. And again, the beautiful bird transfers with florals, has peaches and blues and light greens and neutral colors would go wonderful. Um, this video footage here, my husband just put the new backing on, so there is a brand new back on there, but a nice shelf in there for ample storage. This would make a great coffee bar, wine bar, buffet, or entry table to your home. I have it styled as an entry table, as you can see, but can be used for multiple uses. It's on wheels, which makes it easy to move, and it just came out beautiful. I hope you love this makeover as much as I do.